Undertale. Hey. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Hey. Ooh. Uh. Hey. Damn. All right. Can't go up. Let's go this way. Keep here inside. It's far too dark. 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 Okay, whatever. Switch! Oh shit, music. Oh god, music is getting real. Uh-oh. The shoot is clogged with strange looking plants. You find a stick of beef jerky inside the machine. Nice. Hey Clover, come back here. I think I figured it out. No, I figured it out, you fucking imbecile. It's working. Wait, what have you been up to? Oh. I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? Alright, you're clearly more capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way. Just head west from here. Yeah. What luck. Turn the power on, the whole facility goes insane. Since you're now the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn off the steam? Okay. Awesome. By the way, I didn't run to that lever. They they forced me to um to do that. They didn't let me abandon her. I guess I'll save. Right, I should read those, what those signs say. Excellence in engineering. Decency in engineering. You tried. You never told me you won an award. I'm proud of him. Greatness in something. Oh, it's a robot. Axis Model 14, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted. Steamworks Eastern Branch. Wait, who are you? Axis Model 014, ready to guard and protect. You just said that. My vocabulary is not expansive, ma'am. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You have trespassed on private property. You have also utilized machinery without permission. No, no, we're just heading to Hotland. We aren't malicious in the slightest. It was us who woke up this place. Isn't it nice to have power? While it is nice to be operational again, it is also not nice. I am the last of my kind to police this area. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew I was the best, but I am also lonely now. Oh well. I will now trap you in a cold, dark room for which you might perish. My husband Chujin used to work here. I have permission. Don't make me hurt you.
Fusion, my creator? Huh? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. Wait! Ouch. Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. He'd mention a robotics project that could net him promotion, but he stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass Axis, but I'm not sure now. He may be the last remnant of Chujin's talent. It would be the best if we could avoid him from now on. In any case, we're pretty lucky he's the only guard bot around. Wait a second. I have an idea. He mentioned how he was lonely, right? What if we fixed it? We could use scraps lying around to forge a companion for him. He doesn't seem too bright after all. Maybe that's all we need to distract him? What do you think? Sure. Great. It's the best plan I could think of. Look around for parts we can use. Oh, we're making him a, a female. This looks very robotic. Now he would recognize a trash can. Oh yeah, a speaker might work. And then the clock. Oh, I see. Perfect. That's not at all what I chose. I'll do respect to Chujin's work, but this might just full access. I'll hold on to it for you. That's a trash can. That's not what I chose at all. Let's get out of here, yeah? The door is locked. The vent has a <laughs> the vent has a few loose scrolls. You finagle it open. I love finagling. Can't say that was fun. Let's be extra cautious from now on, okay? All right. Wait, another robot? Nothing like the smell of rusted metal in the morning. No way, we can't fight this thing. What if Chujin built? You know what? We'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. I'll do my best to provide defense. You look Andrew over and tell them they need a shower. Don't come any closer. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, I'm slipping. Okay. Clean. You offer to give Jandroid a scrub. They seem offended. Oh, my bad.
Oh, he's ready to spare. D -d -d dead end? Ugh, it's a dead end. Looks like we're gonna have to... Nope, some sort of manta ray. The, the floor is lava, travelers. I'm sorry to say I failed the game some time ago. However, you do not have to. I will ferry you across the lake. This bot doesn't seem malicious. That's new. I say we give it a go. Thank you for your trust. With my help, the floor will not be lava. It will just be a floor. Take a ride. Sweet. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock. The current time is 626, Monday morning. You may have noticed the apple trees outside the steamworks are blooming. That means spring is upon us. This time of year, my creator recommends a picnic by the river just south of here. Why the puzzled look? Have we not met before? I am the grandfather clock of the underground. It is my responsibility to keep the standard time for all monsters. However, I cannot help but feel there is a miscalculation in my tick-tocking. It is simply driving me mad. Okay. Mm, hold on, that feels like it's actually the next area. So first, let's go up. The topmost paper is a handwritten letter to King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need mining co to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There are already many great robot ideas floating around. Cooking, cleaning, recreation. The motivation is through the roof. Though one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I am quite unsure about that propo proposition, but you have the final say. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Z. All right, see you later, buddy. Again? Well, best get on with it. Watch your step. What? Oh, shit. Aw, oh, fuck. Dude, yeah, what if I just run like a badass? I feel like this might be slower. Once again, I didn't go to that lever. It forced me to take her with me. Okay, I opened some sort of gate. I assume it's this way and then up uh, looks like I'm wrong no way this is where we got on Ah, here it is. Ugh. 
Oh, yo, what's up? Slurp, slurp, ah. Nothing like Steamworks Boba Soup, trademark, to fuel the engine. What? Don't act like you've never heard of it. Nah, you do you, man. Some sort of thing here that I can't operate. You have reached your destination. Well, hold on. No, 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 no. Then, then, then I want to check out what the other thing was then. I mo. Let's go. It's your boy Mo. How did I get here? I got contacts. I eyes all over the ground. Enough chit chat though. It's business time. As you know, I'm always scouting around for the next big thing, right? Right. So I was on my way here and spotted a bunch of glowy plants. First thought they sprung into mine, taste them. And I'll tell you what, the stuff hit me like wham! Best cuisine you'll ever experience, truly. Uh, you got something. I ain't done with the pitch yet, miss. This is important. But, like I was saying, plants more like please. I even molded them into recognizable food shapes for that visual appeal. Visual appeal is half the battle, I say. Ain't nobody gonna buy your product if it looks ugly, right? But you would. I know it. Old Mo can always count on your business. You okay? Never better. <laughs> now, where's my stand? You gonna sell me charcoal mold? Mo? I, uh, I have a few products left in my pocket. Don't go yet. Here's what I got. You got some moss salad. Appreciate it. What else you got, buddy? Give me some flour stew. And, of course, grassy fries. I ain't the down-to-earth type, but, uh, thanks. You know, for supporting me so much. You emptied my inventory every time we crossed paths been in a bit of financial trouble to be frank but because of you and a little luck i might be able to put that behind me you're done good kid catch you later don't jump in the lava mo out no problem mo i love your products grassy fries Oh. Oh, it's him. Escaped convict spotted. Steam works off its branch. Oh, fuck. Halt. You are coming with me. Okay. Stay here while I get the tall lady. Do not touch anything. Uh, a highly competitive game of chessers was played here. A portable coolant dispender. Dispenser. Have you? Wait, I know. I did. I do know where the other broom is.
Oh, nice. I didn't get to check everything out in, in the break room, though. Can I go back? No? Okay. God damn it. Okay. Do you have the ability to cooperate or are you toying with me on purpose? Either way, I'm starting to really hate you. Sorry. I just wanted to check out Mummified Remains of an Abandoned Pizza Party. TV. Okay. Clover, the lockers. Follow me. How? What a stupid fucking robot. Huff, huff. This guy means business. My husband was one hell of an engineer. I just wonder why he kept all this from me. Could have left me some sort of off switch, right? The robot. I totally forgot about our plan. Ugh. Sorry. Next time we see Axis, we'll try it for sure. Oh, hey. Thought we were gonna try the thing. Guess not. Damn. You're a good fucking shot, buddy. Fucking hell. Shit. Axis, hold on a second. We built you a friend. One. <laughs> uh, one million seconds. I do not have the knowledge to count that high. What is this about? I have a surprise for you, a special one. I will admit you have my attention. Proceed. I have for you your very own robot companion. A sleek, top of the line model. Okay, but like, if if we escape, right? If this somehow works, shouldn't we feel kind of bad that we just left him with a trash can? At least a little bit. Aren't they beautiful? No, not in the mood. My eyes are only set on your apprehension. Goodbye. You're making them cry, Axis. Come on now. Robots cannot cry. I have tried. Goodbye. Well, it was worth a shot. Plan C it is. Damn. I am immobile. If you went with our surprise, it wouldn't have gotten messy. Do not mock my judgment. I will return to capture you with my new hands. Oh, poor buddy. Phew, I'm spent. Next chair we see, I'm taking a breather. Ooh. Well, there we go. Definitely what I need after that madness. I wonder what Starloo's up to right now. 
probably on some feisty five quest with a smile on his face. I do envy him to be wrapped in optimism and fantasy. Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. That's why they look to the king for assurance. They believe once he gets seven souls and breaks the barrier, he'll easily be able to overthrow whatever awaits on the surface. A rather foolish outlook if you ask me. Who knows how the humans have prepared for retaliation since then, but I digress. We should handle our own problems first. I can't imagine what Kanako's going through right now. You haven't seen my Kanako yet, have you? Here, take a look. Your Kanako is dead. Look at that smile. Definitely her father's. Gifted like her father too. She's uh... She didn't deserve this life. I truly wish things could have been different. But that's not what fate had planned. I apologize for my vagueness. I prefer to keep bad memories to myself. That's fair. Anyway, the lab shouldn't be horribly far from here. We will get to the bottom of this, Clover. In the meantime, you can scout ahead. I'm going to rest a bit longer. Damn! Music hits hard. Wow. What's this? An old bottle. The message is clear. Vindy model system boop. Scanning customer. Unauthorized child detected. Go away. Oh yes, I will gladly dispense your garbage. Hand it over. Please stop. No one in this fucking game wants to sell. Oh. This will kill you. And will blind you. I'll take a gravity granola. Your attitude. If a customer is determined to unauthorize, treat them with the utmost disrespect so they will not buy up the company's snacks. My disrespectful state was initiated when I scanned your dull face. Bring a Schemeworks ID. Employee ID next time to experience hospitable mode. Until then, you may still purchase items, but I will tear apart your self esteem while you do so. A loser. What about it? The Steamworks are only the finest in monster science and engineering. No big deal or anything. Structures built from the toughest steel and the greatest mines, sure to stand the test of several millennia. Searching for a more advanced facility would be like searching for the corner of a circle. <laughs> With quality machines such as myself at every turn, lives are improved every day. The steam works. Tomorrow means the surface. I am not a propaganda ma machine. My creator made sure I specify that. Searching for Axis in the database. Axis, latest model, 014, is a robot built to act as a royal guard. Production goal? Create an army of Axis guard bots to protect monster kind from humanity. Production status? Discontinued. That is all of the information I have on this robot. If I were to be helpful, which I will not be, I would tell you to ask an engineer in the factory wing for more information. Where is the factory wing? I cannot tell you. You are unauthorized. Not that I trust you to find it on your own, since you are in fact an idiot. My snacks are up to the highest Steamworks standards. I ensure the employees' designated mealtimes are as enjoyable as possible. Because of my popularity, I often run out of inventory, to which my creator restocks every Monday at 8. That reminds me, my last boot up yesterday was a Sunday. Dr. R.O. should be stopping by any minute now. I simply cannot wait. But none of that is your business. Now what is it? Yes, bye. Thanks for nothing. Well, you're not gonna get anything, buddy. I hate to say it. Hold on. First, I need to equip my goggles. Save.
Watch it, Clover. We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Asgore like GPS. Your mail will have to wait. No! I want my mail now! Oh! Hey, Flowey. Howdy. Boy, am I glad that Fox Lady let you roam free for a bit. Not being able to talk to my pal has been torture. Now, I know she roped you into some lab detour, but come on. Captive monsters? Talk about a conspiracy nut. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Remember your real mission. The five children you set out to find in the first place. There's no need to visit that dingy lab, you know? Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. This is our journey. Not Saroba's. Hey, wait up. I think I'm ready to get back into things. Lead the way. Oh shit. Ooh, sick. Vibe. Oh. I can't keep up. What's happening? What the hell? Oh, that's so wild. Needle? You move Gusick's needle to a new calmer record. Wait, I... Now I can vibe. There we go. Oh. Nice. More steam. Fantastic. Yeah, I know I got this. It's definitely slower to get hit. Oh, holy, what happened here? Hope this stuff is okay to touch. Lots of plants. Two science division employees have reported the generator is showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than one year from now. I need to speed up the testing of alternate power sources. The underground depends on it. A grown over robot. You can almost make out a face on its screen. Two head office. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be best for monster kind. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding a white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing is commenced. Head office. I think we've got it. The white plants have proven able to generate electricity at a fantastic rate. The only issue is that, they're, is that they grow four times faster than Norma Flora. And once their power is drained, they wilt into a dark, sticky substance. This is greenlit. We will need a new division to tend to these plants. Otherwise, working conditions will suffer greatly. That's not a robot. Or I guess it is. To science division, the plants should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working towards a new compound. One made from special energy could be the key we need. Much more time is necessary to develop it properly, however. As for the proposed greenhouse division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient, and trustworthy. I'll send you some blueprints shortly. Thank you for your time and research. Head office. Rolled up blueprints lie in the box. You take a look. Ah, a gardener. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't. Mm. Come on, let's step around them. 
What was that? It didn't let me step around in there. I... am awake. Gardener Model 02. Status damaged. Or damaged. The underscore midged. What does an underscore sound like? Oh, hello there. Was it you who disturbed the flora? I ask you to please have more respect. Um, we apologize. Won't happen again. Do not worry. Seeing that the child is young, it is forgivable. I report the incident as a level... something. Ah, level 10 offense. Level 10 means the termination of the trampler. Hold on. Farewell. Cool. Oh, I can't do anything. Heck, I'm stuck, Clover. We need to find a way out of this fast. A great hostility is blossoming. I have incapacitated your options. I ask you cooperate with me. Uh, I don't really want to die. Thanks, though. Accept your offense, Trampler. I'm okay. You must learn that plant life is important. More important than you. Now that's that's totally fair. Gardener. Traps offenders for easy apprehension. If you do not yield, I will call for backup. Well, there is no backup, so I'm not exactly worried about that. Gardner slams her arms into the floor in agitation. I need to heal. You are a handful. I am going to count to three. Oh, fuck. Ah! Uh. Who knew a robot could be so cold-blooded? Or just cold. Unless things get even weirder. Okay, I think first things first. I'm going to cut open my items. There we go. Now I will do the act. Ah, fuck. There we go. One. Oh, wow. Okay. Two. Not bluffing. Uh-oh. Uh... Three. Calling backup. Oh. Look at those little guys. You called for help, gardener? Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the offense level, miss? Ten. Termination. Level ten? I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardener says you deserve termination. They know. I just said that. So, attack. Right. This is only getting worse. Don't stop your efforts to free us. Yeah. Uh oh. I need a heal.
Damn, they are fucking throwing crazy shit. All right. Freed. Please stay in your confines. Ah! Ow. I gotta heal. Damn, these things move fast as hell. There we go, free. Way to go. I'll do what I can to help us escape. Cleverly done, you have gained my respect, but you have not gained my mercy. Bots, attack. What's the new, what's the new effect? Oh, uh, what's happening? Okay. Adequate job, no problem. Give us a call anytime, even to just hang out or something. Or not, it's... Okay. A fence level? Plead. You plead with Gardner. It seems to have an effect. Just you and I again. It is too bad I cannot grow tired. For you, that is. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Please, please, please. I don't want to die here. There we go. Okay, I'm here for the attack. Oh, you missed it. Seriously? Man. Hey, it is okay. Here, a flower to cheer you up. Yo, thanks. Mind if I attack a little? By all means. Oh, God, he's got a gun! Alright. Gather. You pick some flowers and offer them. Gardener is too distracted. Still standing? You are rather upsetting. Well, I probably shouldn't pick flowers, right? Because that would make them angry, I think. I'm just going to keep pleading. Just wait until my creator hears about this. You will get a long lecture. Lecture more painful than anything I am doing. True torture. That fucks me up every time. You tell Gardner that this is a misunderstanding, a fence level lowered. After that, the head office will give you an award. Excellent in ruining Gardner's day. Deserved. I didn't mean to ruin your day, friend. Give in already. You know, I would, but like... You're trying to murder me. You ask Gardner to think about what she's doing. A fence level lowered. You use rational. Use ration. In ho you use rationale in hopes of de-escalating the situation. Offense level lowered. Wait. You. Offense level lowered. Oh. What happened? There seems to be a gap in my memory core. I am sorry. I think that did the trick. You're pretty clever in intense situations. I am impressed. Gardner cools down. What if I... Uh, oh, I can't. I can't. I want to do a fin them. Cool. I was about to do something. Oh yes, I remember. Sending level 3 report. Response negative. I apologize. Allow me to call again. Sending level 3 report. Hello? Creator? Are you there? 
I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me, signaling Steamworks head office. Beep! The line you are contacting has been disconnected. Where? Where is everybody? Oh, I have allowed immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancer report and reinitiate hibernation. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the world is like now, nor do I wish to. Life was much better not knowing. Let's keep moving. I'm sorry. I, I felt bad as soon as I did it. Oh, that was the wrong decision. Crossroads? Uh... Oh. Televis tunes in. Watch. Well, this is your favorite channel. Televis doesn't don't look amused. There's nothing on yet because your antennas are crooked. Tapes win again. Oh, it's two people. I'm confused. What is the what's the special power? Signal. You help Tally finagle her antennas. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Nah. Am I boring you? Ow. Kelly pushes his mouth flat back and forth. You begin to drift off. Ah, shit. Okay, so that that's not working. Okay. I guess watch now. Signal watch. Ah. Oh, check this out. Damn, that guy's crazy. Look at the flips he's doing. Oh shit, I'm distracted. I did enjoy the program. Almost too much. Uh, what was the other way? Two paths. Hold on. That symbol, I've seen it on Chujin's work uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Nope. Ugh. Well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Here goes. Cool. Seriously, same code as the Dunes Gate? With this kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. Uh, no. Oh, shit. Can I run? Nice! First off, what's this way? Okay. I want to check out what's to the right. Oh, man. Oh, this is weird. Plain Jandroid. Android. 
and then I need to needle vibe and and then vibe with them. Holy shit. Please, no. Oh my goodness. That was too close. Is that really it? Wow. Talk. I bet your faith in me is dwindling. No. Oh, you talk too much. I want to go to the right. Wait. I see. Okay, I just want to leave. Thank you. So the only way to go is left. That was just if I want to go backwards. Oh, hey. Hello? Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Rust it through. The sign says if the receptionist is unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot control station. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Axis? Exactly. If there's some sort of breaker box for all robots in the area, we can shut Axis down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation, at least. Let me ring the bell. Well, I tried. Uh... Oh, wait. Okay. Did I save? I did. Oh, good morning, Steamworks employees. Hope you're ready for another day of power productivity. Today, we are boxing goods and shipping them out into the underground. Uh, hello? Are you sentient or pre-recording? Hello, new hire! Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity. Right. Can you unlock all the doors in this factory? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called EARN YOUR FREEDOM! Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. What kind of policy is that? When there's a quota to meet, ethics go out the window! Haven't you worked a job before? Of course, but I don't work here. So you're trespassing? In that case, fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this bot might have connections to Axis. Seems we gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. You can work this thing, right? Push the start button and we'll get it over with. What are you doing? Put red items in red boxes and blue in blue. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. Yes? It's broke. No. Screw this. Clover, you box the goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot.
Cool. I guess that's trash, maybe? So we made the quota? Cool. Fun! Yay, more stuff. Fun! Hello again! The shipment is almost complete! One final step and you may have a passcode to the exit! Sort each color package by tilting the platform left or right. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention learning colors in preschool. Not by choice. I'll take the job. Sh shoot up top. You made the platform. Good, good. Ready? Here goes nothing. Oh, thank goodness. We did it! Great job, everyone. You can't spell Steamworks without teamwork. Can't spell steak either, but that has absolutely no bearing on this situation. Let's see how you did. Calculating. Oh, you barely scraped by, but that's what performance reports are for. Hey, it isn't our fault this system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant steps to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort the colors when boxing them in the first room? Beats me. You know, for being built by such great minds, the Steamworks are awfully convoluted. And you can massive IQ to understand the complexities of the Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough. Says the wall-mounted GIF compromised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little passcode and... Just give us the code. Of course. The passcode is 2238. Got it? 2238. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. Metalworks emergency plan or MEEP. In case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. Evacuate down to floor 1 or use pad passcode to access floor 3. Uh-huh. They really locked this place up tight. Well, if the code was found nearby on the first floor, let's take a look around. There you are. No way. You seriously want to do this again? Yes. Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look, at some point you need to shush. Do not resist arrest. Stand still and let my handsome hand shine. Oof. Shoot. Oops. Clover, this way. My vision. 
Initiating 16 volt super flashlight. 95% of power utilized. Typography box hinder. What do you mean? Oh, this is most un. This is bad. Oh well. Unlike them, I have eyes. Okay. We need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. There's got a hello again. What are you two doing here? Oh, damn. As I was saying, there's got to be a code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. Look at this fucking loser. A large collection of familiar stones. Unfortunately, nothing in the pile catches your eye. C3 A4 Oh wait a second So it would be 4 Ha found you Away you go Ow. I am so tired of this falling thing. How about you? So tired. Like, can't gravity screw off every now and then? Seriously. Sigh. Come on, get up, we can do this. B2, so 4, 2, 3, 1, I believe. 4, 2, 3, 3. 4, 2, 3, 3. Nice. Alright, let's head upstairs before Axe. Hello, Axis. Just the bot I was looking for. How are you doing these days? Not so good. I could only speak in 15 characters max back there. Kind of bummed me out. I'm sorry to hear that. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am a security expert. Why is it that some doors require a passcode to unlock and others require a Steamworks ID? Two-factor authentication. Huh. Cool. Workstations. Okay, well, probably find another code to find. You know the drill. You are all struck by the absolute pipe pandemonium on display. How do they do it? Wow. An old PC sitting on two desktops. The image on the screen gives you a nostalgic feeling. Very cool. I think that's it.